Yeah, yeah, I know. I haven't been posting stuff for a while now. Galactic Storm here. Welcome to the show. And yes, it's time to do another tank review. Before I do my review on, well, the, well for Black Ops 3, for their guns. So we're going to be reviewing the Cruiser Mark III. Uh, these things were basically Christine tanks that were upgraded and, and they were bought in 1936. They were intended to be fast, lightly armored tanks and 65 of them were made. They were used in 1940, 1941 and were used in Africa, North Afri Africa, North Africa, France and Greece. Many of them were lost in France but were under armored and reliable mechanically. But if you did make the scenes in North Africa and in Greece. So, without this failure tank, let's see what this tank is basically in paper. Well, it has 140 hit points, it has 330 engine power. Kilometer wise, on speed, it's 48, which isn't bad. Traverse speed, 40, which is good. Uh, hull armor and turret armor are garbage, it's 14 all around. Uh, the turret damage, it, or the yeah, shell damage is 7 to 11. Standard shell penetration is 20 to 34. Rate of fire, 101 rounds per minute. Turret traverse, 48 degrees. View range, 320. Signal range, 350. Which isn't, which is good. The view range is pretty good. And what you get first is you get the 15 millimeter gun, Bessa. It's only good for like tier one by my perspective. But then things get interesting when you get the QFP 2 pounder Mark 9. Really good damage there. And then you get the bacon of tier 2 guns. The 40 40 pom pom, which can, the Mark 9 and the 40 pom pom can kill tier 2 to tier 4 tanks real easily. 40 pom pom specifically as well. This one's just like the same upgrades on the, uh, on the 40 pom pom. But, but yeah. And then you get the cruiser Mark IV as your up, as your next tier tank. And yeah, it's basically I did a review on that. So pros and cons on this thing. This thing can have it has really good view range. It has an upgraded turret which can provide based armor, which is good against well high explosive uh, tank shells. Uh, excellent choice of guns, and it has one of the best gun depressions in the game. Cons on this thing, well, this thing can make this, uh, this tank's really fragile. It has weak armor, below average health, it has a border, it's vulnerable to ammo racks, slow aim time for the pom-pom, auto cannons, and high explosive shells are very effective on this tank. So this thing may be fragile, but this thing can kick a hell of a lot of ass. So without further ado, let the carnage begin. And for our very first gameplay, we are at Himmelsdorf. Himmelsdorf is always like one of those maps that you would love, even in tier 2 or higher. And this little thing, well, it is what it is. I'm not going to be using the Mark 9 gun, no. I'm going to be using, what? well, the 40 pom pom at least. Uh, I do have the, some gameplay that was good, but I don't think it was just good enough for... The review so I'm in my Panic Cruiser 3 and there is a lot of T2s there's a lot of universal carrier 2s there's a T18 and there's a whole shit ton of light tanks now some people might be can well, would be curious on like the BAE type B uh, is it just as good as the Cruiser Mark 3 not really and I'm just showing off like how much of the rate of fire onto the gun is. But the gun, well, with the tank itself, it's a little bit slower than the Cruiser 3. But it can still operate as a Cruiser 3, just not with that as much mobility. So I'm going on the other side of the map here, unlike last time, and I got a mark hit or from one of my allies. And I marked one person, and he is getting lit up on fire. He's getting hit a lot, I'll just say that. Panzer 35T, I zoom in, took a few shots in, and there you go. He goes bye-bye. No butt stuff. He's having some 40 pom-pom in his butt. Which I bet is really, really, really uncomfortable. So, whoa, well, this is going on. The other players are going on to the other side of the map, and, uh, well, they're going to the 
to that alleyway of derp. And I've just found the artillery, which is even awesomer. So I decided to go on to the other side of the map here, or well, onto the uh, where the enemy cap circle is at, and I decided to give them a nice surprise of butt sex. But little did I know, there was a jackpot full of idle the tanks there. There's the D1, and literally I, I had no idea where to fire this tank at until I found out when I was going to the upper part of the tracks. But then I saw the FTBS, it needs plenty of attention, so it goes bye bye, and I killed the D1 too. So double kill within just a few seconds. There's the Genie, and then there's the T1. I'm going after the T1 first, finish off the T1, and then just do a shot on the Genie, and this Cruiser 3 just goes boom against the Genie, and is using the auto loader or the machine gun. Gunny, think my jig, think the bob, think my jig, think the bob. But yeah, some of these I'm just wow. And here's a Yag Panzer one, really good tank destroyer. It can really screw me up easily. But he's just running away from all the bad from the guys that are over there. And the T1E6X just gives it a big old surprise of butt sex. And there's a Cruiser three with a 40 pom pom as well which is not really good. It's never good with another tank seeing a 40 pom pom because you'll get killed real easily but the Cruiser 3 and my team well it just finished it off. And looks like we've got this in the bag but unfortunately there's this little bugger here. It's a Panzer 2. II. Panzer 2's are really good tanks as well. There's a lot of good tanks that you can get in tier 2. It's like that you would want to hug them and just give them all the loves and kisses while I'm playing while I'm playing cat and mouse with this tank right here with the Panzer II and there's only two tanks left and now there's only one tank left and it's the Panzer II and I am in no I have literally no health left so if I get shot by this thing once and since it's an auto loader this thing can screw me up real easily and he's starting to go after me I try to take in a few shots and unfortunately I go bye bye but the base got captured and yeah Panzer 2 gets away with it real easily but he loses and the medals 40,000 silver and 900 oh almost 950 experience I got a fighter and a mastery badge class 1 and 713 damage with 115 assists 18 penetrations and 4 tanks that go bye bye. But I took care, or I detected six of these tanks too. And I did the top of my leaderboard and almost did double as the T1 E6X. 713 damage, 948 experience, did about 1.63 kilometers worth of travel, and all my health that was received, luck, 150. So let's see what I killed T1, FTBS, the D1. Damage the or I detected the uh, Universal Carrier 2, killed the Panzer 35T, damaged the Panzer Yag 1, damaged the Chini, damaged the Panzer 2, which killed me, and then the Cruiser 3 as well. Remember when I was telling you about the two pounder gun? I lied. Actually, this is just fresh uh, gameplay that I got. Literally just fresh. Like it came out of the oven, like pizza. But this one, this one is going to be especially really good. And it's the last gameplay for the Cruiser 3. We're in Wide Park, and this is a Tier 2 battle. A Tier 2 battle for all Tier 2s. And this, I'm going to be using the, I'm going to be using the 2-pounder Mark 9 gun. And the Mark 9, okay, it does have the range compared to the 40 Pom Pom. And it's pretty good. I mean, when it comes to penetration, but damage wise, it's not really good. Although it has a very fast fire rate, I will admit that it does have a good fire rate. But penetration is a little bit more than the 40 pom pom, and yeah, the range on the on the 40 pom pom is not really good. It's just another cannon, and there we go. First contact, the BD2 just sees us, and I have no idea how big or how big this uh, fight was going to be. 
this T2 medium decided to go up and go, oh, oh look at the view. And medium 2 just goes bye bye. And there's a T18. T18, get away, get away, get away, get away. Try shooting at the T18. Try to go on top of the uh, where the cannon's at and try to shoot it. But I damaged its gun and it's getting peppered and BT2 finishes off. And just after a minute, I got my first kill and a lot of damage first. But I spot a lot more enemies and there they come. They're trying to go onto the left hand side of the map here. And it's just going all chaotic right now. And there's an H35. I thought I was done here at first because I was just trying to, and, you know, spot enemies in that. And then going back and forth, back and forth. There's a Renault FTAC. And then I damage the F35. I try moving back and forth. He's taking in more damage than I am. And, well, I just finished him off real quickly. H35 has a really good armor. I'll tell you that right now. And there we go, everyone's diving in. Some people took in the damage of the medium too. I just steel killed it and just finished it off. And about a few minutes later, I've got three kills. Holy shit. And there's a two pounder, there's the two the universal carry two PDR just shot it and it's going running away. There's another Hotchkiss H thirty five there and I'm just it just gets obliterated by the T eighteen because T eighteen is like seal clubbing. Oh yeah, but this thing is even better. And I destroyed that tank right there. Kill number four. And then there's tanks coming on this side, and it's just being a tank fiesta right here. And it's just going literally all crazy. And then I try to go after this BD2, which is going to be coming from behind and giving everyone a nice dose of surprise butt sex. Especially to that medium tank right there. I'm trying to get this H35 to move out of the way. It moves, it stops, I decide to go in, and it's 10 out of 8 right now, and it's just getting nuttier. And there's the BD2, it's trying to go after this medium 2, and it goes bye-bye. Well, my tank did. But then it goes after this me tank, or T2 medium, and I'm trying to make it go back, trying to make it fall back, and I'm trying to go up against it, and there we go. BT2 goes bye-bye, and now it's a close game. It's five against four. And it's only about, I don't know, four minutes now into the game. Holy shit. Well, White Park isn't really that much of a big map as it is. And it's just, like, what's going on here? It's like all chaos. And now it's 1210, and there's only three, uh, or there's only three tanks left. There's a, a Panzer, uh, that Universal Carrier that I was going after earlier. And it's just like, yeah. And I really don't have that much health left. Uh, just remember, this thing is not really good against auto loaders and high explosive guns. I would have to say that. But there we go. My guys uh, trying to cap, and it caught the attention of the, uh, the three remaining tanks. There's a Panzer 35T right there. I'm trying to shoot it. Took some damage onto it, and I'm trying to move back in that. Trying not to get damaged too. There's a universal carrier there too, and yeah, I don't want to get hit with that, and if I did, it'd be game over. And it does like 75 damage onto each shot, and it's like, what the hell? And then I try to fall back real quickly. I know one shot could easily kill me off here. So people are trying to go after the Panzer 35T, and then the universal carrier, he's trying to make a run for it against the, um, the T2. I'm trying to shoot after this guy, and there we go. Kill number six. Ding, ding, ding. It's a top gun. And it's a win for me. I took the last kill. So, there we go. Really awesome there. 12,000 silver and 1,163 experience. And it did a grand total of 486 damage, almost 500 damage, and 314 assists, 16 penetrations. I got a bruiser, the mastery badge as a uh, mastery badge class, and I got the top gun as well. And I did more than double than the entire enemy team would with damage in that. So assisted damage 314, ammunition 750, and did about 1.65 distance, damage received 108, yeah. And this what I get the T18, the H35. I, I damaged a lot of turrets in this one. 
particularly the T18 and the H35. T2, universal carrier, H35, medium 2, and and two BT2s. Oh yeah, that's what you can do on a good day, or a really good day. Okay, so we had enough gameplay with the Cruiser Mark III. What do I think about this tank, or how would you think of it? This tank, this thing can be a complete asshole once it has the opportunity and will not hesitate to kill a lot of you guys in a quick session. And this thing, it has two good guns. The 40 pom pom would be my preferred choice, but the Mark 9, it can do some really good stuff and it can do a lot more in range than that. Just not the best accuracy. But what do I think about this thing? Uh, this thing, uh, for ranking, I will give it a ta da! A 9 out of 10. This tank will turn bad as a stock tank, but when getting to the other upgrades, it'll be better. The two guns are really good, the 40 pom pom and the 2 pounder gun. Uh, it can kill up to tier 4 and that's that's something that you would really want, but it can kill you really easily. Uh, the space turret will help absorb HE rounds, which is the turret, but do be warned on the auto cannon guns and the high explosive shells. So high uh, like light tanks would be the biggest one. Well. And well, obviously, the tank destroyers like the T-18, the T-82, the Hetzer, the H-40, or not the H-40, the T-40, and artillery. Those would definitely be your best big no-nos, unless they are distracted or you come in behind and give them a big surprise butt sex. So yeah, and that's what I think about the Cruiser 3. And this thing, I will definitely keep in my garage and I will hug it and kiss it. Vote, rate, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And just to warn you, I may not be doing any World of Tank videos in the future because I'm getting ready for Black Ops 3 and I am going to be doing gun reviews upon there. And I think you guys will like it. So stick around and find out about it. Galactic Storms here saying farewell, biatches.